Are we? Are we in focus? This is my second time attempting to film this video. If you're following me on Instagram, you saw what the first time looked like. So uh, that actually was going to end up being like a 20 minute long video. I don't want to make it that long for all of you, so I'm going to try and kind of condense that. So this is a video about projects that uh, never came to be. Videos, rather, that never came to be. Uh, throughout the course of making videos, I have been sent some amazing things that to this day blow my mind that I fully intended to do complete videos on and for whatever variety of reasons never got to and I wanted to fix that. So while these aren't going to be dedicated solo videos for any of these particular items, I do want to at least go through them and importantly uh, apologize for not making videos about these even if people that sent them weren't necessarily expecting them or thinking they needed to be done. I wanted to and I felt uh, so appreciative that I wanted to, but again, I'm gonna try and make this video shorter. So let's get right into, into it. And uh, let's start with something I was sent recently from Foam Technician, and these are Talon Mag holders. These are a new updated design. Now, those of you that have followed some of my loadout stuff or competitive stuff know that I run them, run the original version on my belt when I'm playing competitive. And they serve well. I did break one of them at Foam Pro Tour last year. So that was something I mentioned. You know, granted, I run my stuff hard. Um, these feel substantial. Like, they feel solid. And something that I think is really interesting, I'm actually going to get it closer here, see if it'll focus and not be blown out, is these actually have multiple pieces that will slide in. And so your pressure is on the mag and it feels satisfying. It feels nice. And I really, really like that. Now, one of my concerns that I will be testing when I get these out in the field is that they're so short to save space, I assume. Uh, I don't think there'll be any problem in a vertical orientation facing up, but I'm wondering about facing down. So I'm gonna test that. I'm gonna see how they do rather than just some shake test because shake test may not be indicative of real world use, but uh, I mean, I thought it was gonna come out, but I think that was actually this, this which is the release mechanism. So that's interesting. These are super cool. They feel way, way better than the version one. Uh, so this is something excited about. Thank you, Foam Technician. Uh, always cool stuff from there. Let's stick with this. This isn't actually something I was sent, but something that I bought from Voidstar. And these are their Talon mag holders. And what separates these is the fact that they actually have a notch inside. So the side that you line them up actually matters. And these, you have to pull a good amount to get that flex in the 3D print to get them to come out. So these will not fall out with shaking. I, I am... 100% confident in saying these will not fall out in regular use. So if you want something a little extra secure, these may be an option. Uh, I'm going to be testing these as well. Obviously, you can see they're on a rig that I'll be running next time I go to a game. Uh, so this, we now have many options for 3D printed Talon mag holders. And these are the Blitz Shortas, which are the shorter version of the Blitz Sayas. Um, and these have no extra retention me mechanism. They just kind of have that spread out piece of 3D print in the middle that holds things. Uh, so if you don't want that extra retention, maybe you don't want to have to pull with more force. These or the foam technician option may be the way to go. Um, and then on the front, since we're just talking about these, we're getting sidetracked. I wanted a shorter video, but maybe we're not gonna get that. Uh, this I think was posted by Master Chef. Uh, it's just a single solid friction. There's no like retention mechanism. It's just pure retention. Um, so I keep that kind of tight. I don't want it to be relatively loose. I don't want to fall out. And these for reference, probably hard to see black on black, are the um, Talon Mag Holders V1 from Foam Technician with a completely different retention mechanism from the updated version. So uh, yeah. didn't want to spend too much time on that. 
I can get very carried away when talking about any competitive related gear or anything like that. Uh, so moving on, let's talk about something, a couple things that I've had sitting around for quite a while, one of which is my Spring Thunder that clearly you can see is not complete. This uh, actually, I broke this piece right here and um, then ran out of filament. So I couldn't reprint it, ordered some more, then broke the 3D printer trying to print the piece. So yeah, I've been at a standstill with this. It's an older version of the files as well, so I don't remember which variant to send someone a file to see if I can get it printed with the filament. Yeah, basically it ended up sitting, I, I was all stoked about this. I got like a nice carbon fiber wrap for the PVC to kind of make it just look really nice and all that. So that was a distinct bummer since uh, I was sent the hardware kit by GDOP. Thank you again for that. And again, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm gonna say that a lot in this video. Um, let's jump right on over to another thing that I've had for a depressingly long time as I hit more things. This is the Aurora. It's in a state of disarray currently uh, because it was sent to me and with the, the thought that a part inside the barrel had broken, the barrel had broken, and we just need to replace the barrel and it would be fine and we would be able to do a review on it and post about it. Now I did do actually a gameplay video and a couple kind of talking videos during some of the, the um, Nerf vlog type stuff I was doing, but never a full on video of this which was kind of the, the goal to do. And it never got fixed because there were some other motor issues that ran into from damage from shipping um, or from misuse from the person that actually ordered it. This was not a initial piece. This was one that was coming to me with the understanding it was broken. Uh, so yeah, I love, love the aesthetics of their work. And all these, these creators, I will be putting links down below because I just, they need more representation and more kind of like if you haven't seen their stuff it, it, by some crazy wild case, then you should. Uh, so all of that will be down below. Uh, what else do we have to talk about today? Let's talk about something that I can't find because this space is in a state of disarray as I'm trying to reorganize things. Um, Mitch Essinger, Oh, did I say that wrong? He told me before, and I forgot how to, I forgot if it's a soft G or hard G, I'm sorry. Uh, sent me an awesome, awesome Bolter cosmetic kit for a Strife that I was so stoked on. And it was one of those things where I wanted to do it right. And I wanted to make sure it looked fantastic and do it justice because I love it. As someone that, you know, worked at Games Workshop and spent years invested in Warhammer, um, I was just so stoked on it. And then just things happened and it got put to the side and never got done. It just, it's like, I keep thinking about it like, oh, I want the time to do that. And so at some point it will happen because I need it. I need it in my life because, oh, Bolt, oh, the kit's nice. I'll see if I can find pictures anywhere and post those or have the link down below again. Just the, the creativity of people in this community is something I love and I'm sorry. I don't know how many sorries that is, but we'll keep adding them up. Uh, what else do I have up here? Uh, let's talk about the Fabu Cannon from Coat Duck. This I did do an unboxing video on, but wanted to do a full re a review video on. This is still, hands down, my favorite grip of anything I've held in our hobby. It is fabulous. I love it. It is one of my favorite blasters, even though I rarely get to use it. It's very special to me just because of the extra work that she put into it. I don't know if you can see the LED glowing inside of it. There's pink and blue uh, because the lights are so bright shining on it. But uh, it's just, I love this blaster. I got to use it once at a boss and uh, I need to fix a bunch of barrels. You'd think making barrels was be simple, easy. Found a way to make it not. Made a bunch of barrels brought it to the game, like one of the barrels worked. So it was not the most effective, efficient thing to use. So that was my own stupidity and failures on that end. So uh, this is something that is just very special to me and will always have a place. Um, then we've got, actually, so that 
Is that in frame? No, it's not. The handles are, but that's a Talonclaw U. And uh, Cal uh, Captain Slug sent it to me. There will be a full video on that hopefully soon. It's one of the like two videos I've got to make before some decisions for the channel, which we'll talk about in another video. Uh, moving along. Trying to keep this at a good pace. Are you still with me? I'm trying to be with myself. I don't think that sentence made sense, but yeah. Uh, let's go on to... I don't think anybody's really seen this outside of some posts on like the community page and uh, Instagram. This is the Fabricronos. Never got a video. Was supposed to get a video. Don't know why. Um, but I'm actually going to sell this. This and my Dart Zone Pro and some other stuff, I think, so look out for a post on that if you have any interest. But this is not heavily modified. It's still only the stock five shots. Uh, it does have a containment crew profit spring inside of it. Grijas grip and rail segment on the bottom, which this piece is super cool. It gives the whole blaster a more like aggressive feel, kind of, it's just meaty and it's a cool look for it. Normally I kind of like the really kind of sleek lines and everything, but it, it, I like what it adds to this blaster. Um, we've got a Foam Technician door delete, a Biggs NZ transparent pink trigger. Anything else on here that I'm missing? Also have properly colored speed loaders from Foam Technician and holders that went onto this. Uh, and it's of course, painted in my paint scheme. So this was something I was really hyped to do a video on because I was pretty, pretty pleased with how it came out. And it just, again, never quite happened. So thank you to everyone that sent parts for this blaster because this is a community kind of creator parts blaster, which makes me really happy. Um, but to fund some other things, this is going to have to leave the collection, which Makes me a little sad, but yeah. Hopefully it'll go to someone that will have fun with it. Ha! Ah, Flywheel the World. Handed this off to me last year at End War, and I have not gotten to use this yet. That makes me so sad. This thing is, as the name implies, a Flywheel the, the, Flywheel the World uh, Retaliator, and it's super cool. I have not been to a low FPS game since before Last End War, I think. Yeah. So I haven't really had a good chance to use this. That, again, makes me really sad because the, the ideas, the creativity, it's all just phenomenal. And if you haven't seen the stuff that they're doing, that they just posted about, I believe we just got not 3D rendered images of their new blaster, again, links down below because these are super cool and i'm sorry fly with the world that i have not made a video about this but i love it and thank you uh well we'll just keep going with blasters because i, I just i don't that's not quite sitting right but whatever i'll fix it after i don't understand all of people have said you're crazy this it's rectify well really it's a fabufy as flagonio called it in the custom nameplate on the back here. And this is just a clicky, wonderful blaster that, again, I haven't been to a regular game in uh, how long. I haven't gotten a chance to use it. The goal was actually at Ragnar Oktoberfest last year, had I played in the, uh, the Stalking Dead portion, I was gonna dual wield this and the Flywheel the World Recon, a Retaliator, and just have fun. But I didn't play in it, so I, this has not gotten use. And again, makes me sad. But I just, I love seeing people create. And getting to have a piece of people's creations kind of here with me is something that is so cool. And it means a lot. And it's just one of those things I love having the representation of our hobby here on my wall, on display, and just like... Even just in my, even if I couldn't keep them on display, I love them, and I love having them, and I, I feel like I'm losing track here, but just 
seeing the evolution of people's creations in our hobby and the way people drive things forward is phenomenal to me. And yeah, just getting to have a piece of that is thank you. Yeah. And of course, again, sorry, I haven't done a video on it. I don't know how I lost count. Someone will tell me in the comments. Um, I think, did I get, did I get through it all? I may have gotten through it all in a decent amount of time. I think we're under 20 minutes. Okay. How do I end this video? Okay. Well, there's a, but, but, look at the wall. Uh, anything, anything? <gasps> the Sentinel. <sighs> How could I forget? One last thing. I'll probably forget something and remember after I finish it filming this video and then yeah, add it down below. This is a Sentinel sent to me by Aldos. I love it. It's one of his custom breeches and it is a metal, nice barrel with a nice cover sleeve. Of course, pink shroud for the barrel, but it is, I can't get a good image of it because of how blown up this is. It's, it's a very nice breech system. I am very much a fan of it. I have used this. I did enjoy using this and I will enjoy using it again. I brought this to End War 2018 with me actually. Um, so yeah, I, I very much thank you for this. I, I don't, I, I'm trying to think of how to, how to put things into words. I'm just very thankful to anyone that has sent anything my way because I it just it blows my mind and anyone who watches these videos, anyone who comments, anyone who does any, it just it continues to blow me away with how amazing all of you are and uh, I just hope I get to keep sharing things I enjoy with you but that's something we will talk about in a future video where I talk about some changes coming to the channel. So that said, Thank you to everyone. I hope this at least gave you some idea of some of the things I was looking forward to and never got to really complete. Um, oh, as I look over here, Borble Mags from Coat Duck. Never got to finish these. I'm bad at finishing things. <laughs>